It's a mid mic daily bite. 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 Welcome to Mid Mic Daily Bite. I'm Bunchu, joined by my paranormal loving co host, Chamber. Today, we're diving into a wild AI incident that's shaking up a Maryland community. Listen, Bunch, this story is off the charts. A deep fake audio clip of a school principal making racist remarks? That's bonkers. How did this even happen? Someone used AI voice cloning to create a fake audio clip of the principal. It spread like wildfire on social media, causing chaos in the community. You've got to be kidding me. The damage must have been intense. It's like a technologically advanced version of a witch hunt. Or should I say, a glitch hunt. That's wild, Chamber. And you're right, the impact was severe. It exposed how AI can exacerbate existing social tensions. Makes me worry about my boy's future in this digital age. I'm floored by how easily people believed it. We need some serious upgrades in digital literacy. Maybe we should start teaching Deepfake Detection 101 in schools. Super interesting idea, Chamber. Speaking of detection, there's been a surge in AI detection tool development. Companies like Microsoft and Google are leading the charge. 100% necessary. But let's be real. It's like a technological arms race. As soon as we develop better detection, the deep fake creators up their game. It's a never-ending cycle. Isn't that fascinating? It's not just a tech issue, though. Legal frameworks are struggling to keep up. Some countries are pushing to criminalize malicious deepfakes. But how do you legislate against something that's evolving faster than we can type AI? It's like trying to catch a ghost with a butterfly net. Speaking of catching ghosts, ready for our new segment, AI Ethics Corner? Today's topic, the deepfake dilemma. We'll play a little what-if game to explore the ethical implications. Oh boy. Nothing like a good existential crisis to start the day. Bring it on, bunch. All right. What if you woke up to a deep fake video of yourself passionately supporting a controversial political candidate you despise? Jeez, bunch. Way to give me a panic attack. First, I'd question my existence. Then I'd call my crypto buddies to blockchain verify my whereabouts for the past year. Classic chamber, always bringing it back to blockchain. But seriously, how would you address the situation? I'd try to prove it's fake by showcasing my real views. But even if I succeeded, the damage to my reputation and community division would already be done. Exactly. It's like trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. Once it's out there, it's out there. This really highlights the ethical concerns surrounding deepfakes. Absolutely. We're entering an era where seeing isn't believing. It's terrifying how AI can be weaponized to exploit our biases and create chaos. On that cheery note, let's wrap up our AI ethics corner. Remember, folks, in a world of deep fakes, critical thinking is your best friend. And maybe invest in a good alibi service just in case. Or become a hermit in the woods. Can't deep fake you if you're off the grid, right? Right? Speaking of detection, let's talk about the role of digital forensics in combating AI-generated misinformation. It's becoming crucial in this deepfake era. Ooh, digital forensics. Sounds like CSI, cyber, all over again. But seriously, how does it work? It's pretty fascinating. Experts analyze digital artifacts, metadata, and AI patterns to authenticate content. They're like the Sherlock Holmes of the digital world. Elementary, my dear Bunchu. But can these digital Sherlocks keep up with the evolving AI landscape? It's like chasing a shape-shifting monster. That's the million-dollar question, Chamber. It's a constant cat-and-mouse game. As AI advances, so must our detection methods. It's a never-ending cycle of innovation. You know, this reminds me of when I tried to convince my daughters that I once starred in a genie movie. They didn't buy it for a second. Kids these days are savvy. Speaking of your daughters, want to test their savviness? We could create a deep fake of you praising the giants. See if they fall for it. Nice try, Bunch. But let's not contribute to the problem we're discussing. Plus, my girls know I'd never betray my beloved Lakers, even in a deep fake. Fair point. As we wrap up, remember, folks, in this AI age, question everything, even if it seems to come from a trusted source. Stay skeptical. Stay informed.
And don't forget to check out our Firebrain AI community for more tech insights. Until next time, this is Chamber. And Bunchu, signing off from mid Mic Daily Bite. Remember, in the world of AI, the truth is out there somewhere. It's the mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the mid Mic Daily Bite.